Welcome back to the realest channel on YouTube. Now it's been a good year. It's been a big year for me. It's been a big year for the team. But it ain't about me today. It's about the top five crossover boxing matches of the year. Now we've seen promotions like Global Titans, Misfits, Social Gloves. There's many more. I know I'm forgetting them. But there's many more companies that are out there right now that have decided the game of boxing, MVP, most valuable promotions. We're not haters over here. Shout out to Jake doing his thing over there in the States. We've seen people realize the game of boxing is an open field and you can, there's so much you can do with the game. It's one of the oldest games around and people's mentality has also remained that way. But with this new era, this crossover boxing era, everyone's getting a slice of the pie. And at the end of the day, fair game. So let's get in to the top five fights of the year. Let's start off with number five. I have KSI versus Swarms slash Pinedo. Now, JJ has to make the top five fights. Why? Because JJ made his return. At the end of the day, this cross crossover boxing thing only made it to this level because he was doing it. It has happened before. He hasn't started it. These have been these exhibitions and crossover things have been happening since the eighties. I remember when I watched Rocky Free and he had a fight with Hulk Hogan. So it definitely was not JJ's idea to do crossover, but he definitely launched it in this day and age to be something that is continued and people seeing how lucrative it can be, how they can build their brand, etc. So he has to make the top five, but I put him at number five because the opponents were whack. That's it. Obviously, big bro's big bro. He fought two times poor grandma twice in one night no one else has done that this year on the crossover scene he did win with two ko's he headlined on his own promotion he walked out with heady you know what i'm saying he sold out o2 so i would say yeah jj deserves number five position this year hopefully he works his way up next year might put bro a little bit higher but as long as he's fighting the rappers and then we can't put him really higher than number five. We have Slim versus Phase Temper. The reason why I put Slim in there and Phase Temper is, it's for me when I'm picking the fights, it's not about just the scrap. It's about what it means to the game, how it changes the the trajectory of the space, not just the bangs that were flying on the night. Because Slim versus Ryan Taylor, if I was going off fists. That would have made it but because slim versus temper was the fight where slim came out from dirty sides of youtube he crawled out of the underground crawled out of the underground whatever line you want it to be central victoria met any of them lines there he crawled out and said main roads regent street oxford street he's standing now looking at nighttime looking at the christmas festive lights he can see with winter wonderland he was in marble lodge then he came upstairs he see winter wonderland that's what he just that's what he achieved in that fight with phase temper no one thought he was gonna win everyone kind of rated phase tempers thing because he really he really just had the fight with um king kenny on the clean side got temper backed up on the ropes i remember watching it live though tempers back is to me at this time bow donny just drops out cold slim proves that he might not be the most technical he might not be the most skilled but he comes to fight and he comes to bang so shout out to slim and phase temper that's my number four in the top fights this year. We gotta put in Deji. Deji versus Fuzi, man. Now, Deji, remember before that fight, he didn't win nothing. And maybe if, if you want, you can add a clip in of Ruin Wheels now, or you can add a clip in from one of my old videos on the channel, because I ain't gonna lie. I said to him, don't fight again. I said on my channel, he should not fight again. I think the video actually popped off as well. A lot of people actually agreed with me at the time. Now you're gonna say to me, see, because you don't stick by what you're saying. I can't stick by what I'm saying if the person on the outside is changing what they're doing, right? So at that time, when you're zero and three, I think any good friend would tell you, you know what, Regin? I don't think that this boxing thing is for you because the three is on the wrong side of the sheet. But then he came out Oto Arena, boxed brilliantly against someone who had a massive transformation in their life, mentally and physically with Fuzi. And um, he delivered, man. He delivered and he got the finish and being there live to hear the crowd, to hear how happy everyone was for Deji to get his first dub has to go in to the top fights of this year. 
and I hope and then Deji went on to fight one of the goats of the game if not the best ever as he would say TB later on in the year he went from being zero and three to fighting Fuzi to then fighting one of the goats of this thing shout out Deji he goes in at number three versus Fuzi at number two we are going with Dean the Great versus Welly Chucks. Now, it speaks for itself. The fight speaks for itself. Both guys should applaud themselves for entering this community, entering the ring and delivering what they delivered. I remember watching that fight and for the first time, one of the very few times anyway, when watching crossover boxing, you may not have known, you know, that nothing really would have given it away if he took the branding away and changed it to what we're used to seeing on a traditional card with those two in the ring neither of them looked like they would be out of place the skill level was good the 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 mentality the heart shown the punch selection the knockdowns the getting up the recovering it was all very professional like behavior and i shout out to uh dean the great and wallet sharks for putting on a spectacle it is the best one pop in youtube boxing history crossover boxing history tiktok boxing history whatever social media platform history of boxing you want to talk about when it comes to the crossover world it is the best punch because he was losing he was dropped multiple times it was a four round fight the only way he could win was via ko and he chucked that right hand and put sharks to sleep so that fight is number two numero uno we have an Eason gibb versus Austin McBroom. Yes, 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 I did say that. And Eason Gibb versus Austin McBroom. Yeah, let's start off here. My brother shut down a network. My brother shut down a platform. He got dropped early. No one expected him to win. Everyone was rating Austin McBroom, doing his pads and that looking fly, looking good, looking good. But it didn't matter in the end because Gibb, he has experienced we saw what happened against Jake. We saw how he didn't take the time to give himself the opportunity to recover. Against Austin, he wasn't as hurt as he was against Jake, but still adversity was faced. A situation that could have daunted him, the PTSD could have struck him, but no, he went round it. He got up and he continued to beat man down for multiple rounds. You gotta think, that network isn't gonna give Gibb the opportunity to stop Austin McBroom. Gibb has to force it, and that's exactly what he done. If the judges, if the ref could do anything to help Austin McBroom on that day, they would have done it. And they did do what they thought they could, and they might have let the fight continue a bit too long. But Gibb got up off the ground, knocked him down repeatedly. How many knockdowns was it, like four? Was that four, five knockdowns? Finishing punch was brilliant. And then he also put social gloves to bed. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope that throughout 2022 the realist has made you laugh i hope you i've got you gassed and i hope that you feel that heading into 2023 you're you're, you're waiting for more you know that there's more and we're gonna bring you more rums is gonna make sure i give you more christian's gonna make sure i give you more the family the friends everyone we're gonna make sure we bring more 2023 well done anise and gib you won the trophy in the realist house and let's see if you can retain your trophy next year MyProtein.com, 37% off. Manscaped.com, 20% off. It's the end of the video. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video, have a happy new year. See you all next year. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be.